Okay, we are going to use two para 220s, and here they are right before we get all set up. Para 220s with uh, Speedatron. It's uh, a hardy mix for industrial work. And uh, we've got the Mac all set up with Capture One. And uh, this time we are using a wider lens. This is a 47. And that's allowing me to get everything on the sensor. As opposed to on this video camera where it's not all fitting. So let's start setting up. Alright, about to put up the paper, which is right there, off on the left. Now you notice I'm using the Speedatron heads. I did finally get the brown color ring lights, and I have two of them. Uh, but I don't have power packs yet, so it'll probably be the next photo shoot or two before you'll see those in here. Okay? Just wanted to mention that. Again, here is a really good example of existing light and stainless steel. All of those streaks. Now you could simplify those in Photoshop and take hours. But we're going to eliminate them using the paper. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to start putting up the paper, but from here you can see the position, starting position of both paralytes. Um, almost like you're shooting a piece of artwork, kind of at 45 degree angle. Uh, that'll probably move. Both of the lights are going to go up about another 8 feet here in a minute. And that's the extent of how high they're going to go. And you're going to see that reflection here on the left machine that looks like a cylinder um, on the top of that. So the pair is going to hit a highlight there. I'll have to take that off in Photoshop. But um, it sure would be nice to have some stronger stands to go up even higher. Um, or use a pair of 170. Uh, but, you know, these 220s, they sure light up a lot of space, so I'd like to stick with them. But um, this is kind of a good shot of the facility where we're at, and a good view of both lights. Um, we're going to pump 2400 watts into each pair of light, and then I think I'm going to need some light uh, kind of lower down uh, with some small umbrellas. But uh, let's get the paper up and see where we go from there get the first um, shot with the strobe see how this goes so far so good okay we've got our first image and it's pretty rough this is just existing light just want to make sure that the whole two machine suite is on the scent, uh, on the image so we've got some work to do we haven't even shot off the strobes yet we're putting up the paper uh, that's the first shot so you can see the lines reflected along the length of the machine. Paper's going to eliminate that. Okay, this is our second existing light shot. I moved the camera in a little closer and the client had me move over to the right a little bit for some more depth on the machine on the right. Um, this is still showing existing light, which is anyone shooting in a factory. It's the uh, uh, sodium vapor lights from the top of... Oops, got a little dark there. Sodium vapor lights, which on uh, stainless steel uh, go orange and show all those streaks. So let's put up the paper and we should be able to get rid of that. Pretty close to doing our first strobe shot. Hope everyone can see this. Yeah, my camera won't go in too, too tight. Okay, I don't know if you can really see this very well, but this is the first shot with the strobe without the paper up. And you can see what happens. Everything goes dark. So we're going to put the paper up, and things should look just fine after that. Okay, we're uh, several tests in. we got the paper up, but still balancing it out. We've got some hot spots down on the left. Um, let's try and get the lighting a little bit more even. Get an idea of... You can see already the streaks are simplifying. First para. Let's 
second para. That's going to have to be repositioned. That's not doing much from over there. And there you go. Two of them on one shot. Still have some work to do. Paper all over. Help reflections. And that's where we're at right now. I've got some work to do. See that dark streak in the center of the tall cylinder? That's uh, seeing the opposite side of the facility. So we can't get the paper in that tight. Okay, we're still working with some hot spots. I've repositioned the Paralite, both of them out front. Got the paper working. You can see a little side light in the back, small umbrella on the far left. And I've got both paras now in the front. It's working better, but we have one hot spot on the machine on the left that we're trying to get rid of. Alright, we're ready to shoot finals. Everything looks pretty even. A couple minor reflections I'll take care of in Photoshop. Let me show you the final position that we settled on. The pair of lights. It's uh, hard to explain when you're just tipping those just a little bit. It can make a huge difference on a stainless steel machine. But uh, in this case, they work pretty good. I'd have to use about six or seven smaller umbrellas or soft boxes. But that's the setup right now. And we're about to shoot finals. I will have to do some Photoshop work and I'll try to show you the finals on that. But that's it.